getting a still out this morning. I'm a throw lies and sent out a copy of Tropic of Cancer. The only thing weird about it is that a year ago I never thought I'd paint anything again. I decided I wasn't going to ever paint again. It didn't bother me too much. Warhol's dead, David Hockney's still alive. I don't need to paint. I painted over 10,000 paintings. Sad ones, funny ones, dark ones, and light ones. I've done haystacks and rich old ladies by their pools wearing nothing but a scarf. I painted everything there was to paint. Now it's time to sit back, give interviews, hang out at Club Med, get on the internet, and take stock of what I've done. And the best friend I ever had was a dog. Sounds like a cliche unless it's happened to you. Some days that dog was the only reason I even got out of bed. The dog went everywhere with me. Then I heard the crack addicts were stealing dogs and selling them for animal research. Sounded like an urban myth to me, like a mouse in the coat bottle. But I started leaving her at home after that. You know, Paula, she was my wife for a while. She ran off with the great grandson of Van Gogh, a cartoonist who did fashion graphics for my home. She took my dog. I never saw her get a separate court during the custody battle. She won and got to keep the dog, and I didn't speak to anyone for months. Well, sometimes it feels like there's so much that you need. Sometimes the world is upside down. Sells cappuccino to his old pals Tommy Chicago and Jimmy the Wig and Ugly Rose. You know, the best person I ever knew was this Mormon woman named Estelle. She still calls me drunk every few months and asks me stuff I don't want to talk about. Can't talk to her long unless you're drunk yourself. Then we go all night. She goes, Why, baby, why, baby, why, baby, why have you turned your back on love? Chances. Why'd you let them all go by? One morning I was sitting out front of Dino's place with Jake the Shears, this guy from Philly who gets free mohawks. There were a couple young painters I was hoping to come by so I could give them some advice. Yeah, I was sitting there updating my list of enemies when this girl walks in and the universe kind of stopped. It turned out she drank the same tea me. Don't take more than that to start a conversation sometimes. Yeah, she believed collage was the greatest of all the arts. I was busy pasting pictures of horses next to ads for laundry, so next to Muhammad Ali, she had a turquoise in her ear and said Rock mining off was all spinning her head. Well, later that day I was trying to describe her to Jimmy the Wig words and I realized I'd started to sketch her chin. Somehow it didn't look right. I scratched it out and tried it again. I fell up an entire pad. I threw it away. I never even came close. For six days I sat at Dino's place. The rain wouldn't quit and no one came in. Finally on the seventh day it cleared and in she was. I asked her to sit with me, then I bought her a cup of tea and I asked her to model for me sometime. That afternoon I was at a canvas, she was wearing a yellow dress, I swore she let me I get it right. Well, I painted over 10,000 paintings, sad ones, funny ones, dark ones, and light ones. 
lot of haystacks and rich old ladies by their pools, but sitting there, it was like I couldn't even write my own name. Yeah, I apologize. Said it's been a few months. If you have patience, I'll get the hang of it again. In the next few weeks, I've paid it her hundreds of times. If I get the nose right, the chin's too long. If I get them both right, the face is too thin. But I'll keep after it, and one day I'll get it all. sit on a copy of Tropic of Cancer. The only thing weird about it is that a year ago I never thought I'd paint anything again. Well, I think I might go visit a step. Those Utah mountains are good for the soul. I bring my brushes and some Jack Daniels. We can make up for lost time. She goes, why, baby, why, baby, why? Yeah.